Just sit over here. to 2015. We were in the middle of the hype cycle of microservices. Faster, you can write in whatever language you want. Every new innovation, there's a lot of gap, right? A lot of problem to solve. Computing is expensive. If to run a monolith, depending on how big your application is, say like even Lyft, right? You need a huge computer, and that's really pricey. You know, Lyft at the time was growing super fast. It was had a, a, a big growth curve. Game obvious pretty quickly the impact that it was having on, on the organization. Could we get even one other company? Could we get one company, you know, maybe like Lyft to use Envoy? That would be amazing. Like that was my goal. You have to remember back in 2015, not many people were open sourcing their infrastructure. A lot of companies considered that like their secret sauce. The, the only open questions left were like, is this thing, does this thing work? And there was only one way to know it, which is, let's test it. It was written by a startup for a startup, right? Matt had done what he needed to do to get it up and working, but there were a lot of things missing that you needed to run it at scale. Our, our open source engagements between Google and Envoy has been nothing but phenomenal. I remember turning to the co-founders like, I don't know what we should build, but we should build something on top of Envoy. I looked at the, the proxy and then suddenly everything dropped. This is it. And I realized this proxy has everything I wanted. Mm -hmm.